What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the flyback scope effect and the quick scope effect. These two effects are very, very simple. I've had them requested many times, but yeah, this is what it would look like. Just hit play. Like that. Okay. And yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so here I have the clip. It is all cleaned out and everything. First thing you would want to do is find the beats. You would want a beat that has a beat leading up to the actual drop or whatever, so it sounds like this. <laughs> Ding, baha. You want that. <coughs> it's easier to work with. So, first things first is find the beats. I'm going to marker them down with M key while playing it. <laughs> You don't really need to do this tutorial, I'm only going to do two shots without a preview. But here, okay. So, first thing is first. Wait, I can't have that starting like that. Hang on. I'll just do that first. Okay. You're going to want to have the scope end up right here. So, we're just going to put some velocity in. So, right click the clip, going to insert video envelopes and then velocity. <coughs> I'm just going to start it off how I usually do. Just go like that to 38. 38 is really smooth and stuff for 59.94 frames per second clips. Okay, so now we're just gonna want it going leading up to it <coughs> like this. Now, if it doesn't snap on, that is okay. All you're, all you're gonna want to do is just split the clip here, drag this to the right until you see the, the scope pop in. Set your velocity, drag your velocity down until you can right click that and set that to zero. Alright, so now it just snaps in. That's fine, it looks smooth if you play it back normally. And then we're just going to split it on the next beat. Alright, now on this portion of the clip, you're going to go into your event pan and crop. Click down here where the keyframe for the mask is, enable your mask. Now, I already have a preset for the scope, but you can just simply click this circle tool and mask it out. Like that. And you can easily just save it by renaming this scope. <laughs> to scope or whatever you want to do. But I already have it, so I'm just going to hit scope. Alright. I also have a fine scope. If you don't really want to do that, you can copy down these settings. Mask a little bit inside of it. Feather it out by five. So yeah. Alright, after we do that, we can go up to position. Go about a quarter before the clip the next beat. About right here. Scroll back out here, hold control and drag the bottom out like this. Now you don't it doesn't matter if you have an anti aspect ratio on and off. It doesn't really matter for this. <coughs> and then go to the end, right click and restore. Now that's just flying back and then coming forward. You can also just spin it like this so it goes, flies out and then comes back in like that. And yeah. So that's the flyback scope effect. And then to finish it off, drag your velocity up on the right clip. Double click at the top, set to 50, change the to fast, and then set that to 38. So you can set it to 50. I'm just going to drag until you see, <coughs> you want to kind of have it blur, um, kind of transparent on the thing, usually clips are like that, put that right there so it's nice and smooth when it comes out, like that, alright, so if we preview that, this is what you would have, alright, now this next shot for, for the quick scope effect, Double click here and speed it up. Set that to slow. It does not hit yet today. So, what you can do is split it here, drag this all the way down until you finally see the shot. There's the shot. Drag this back and smoothen it out at the end, doing what I do. Then you'll have this kind of effect. <laughs> Say you have, um, say this, this does.
does, and then you have the scope. But say, say it's a hard scope and you want to make it look like a quick scope, all it is is here. Let me show you right here. And I don't have another clip to show you. Okay. Improvise. <laughs> Let's just say. I'm only gonna show this at it because I don't know how to show this. Okay. So if that say this was a hard scope when it wasn't, but it was, you're just gonna split it right there, like right if right after it zooms in, and then you just drag this to the right until it comes until it gets the transparent screen again, like that, and then it will make it look more like a quick scope and it's very fast, very simple, and looks nicer. Doesn't make it look like a hard scope. Uh, yeah. But that is it for the tutorial. Hope it helped. Leave tutorial suggestions in the description. I will get to them later. Next time will be soon on the blue effects in Paris. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.